Hello and welcome to Ventura Rocks on Caps Media. My name is Pam Baumgartner. I own and operate VenturaRocks.com, which is a website listing venues who offer live music and promote those artists and musicians who live in and around Ventura, as well as those who travel here to play. We want to inspire people to support Ventura's music scene. Today we welcome into the studio a killer blues band, fronted by my good friend Tommy Marsh. Now kick back and enjoy Crooked Eye Tommy. I was lying in a basement waiting for your return And I'm still waiting Later on in the evening after the burn I realized my life had taken what to do what to do
somebody got to pay. Yeah. Somebody got to pay. The way the world ends today. Oh, somebody got to pay. If you think your government uh, gives a damn about your rent. And if you vote for left or right, somehow they'll care about your plight. Uh, not like that. You see, money's their only game. Lord, oh, it's a shame, but somebody got to pay. Come on. Somebody got to pay. Somebody got to pay what you sow and they plan to feel the greed they plan to darkest sea and when the harvest time comes Lord I'll be bomb cause somebody got to pay somebody got to pay somebody got to pay On base here in Ventura, California, and we're with Tommy Marsh in the session. Every Wednesday night, when you come to Bombay, you're going to find the most excellent blues jam in town. I know before you had Bad Dog, and you always played here, which you continue to do, as Tommy Marsh hosting the session. But you came up with this idea for having another band. Right, so tell right. me about the background and how that came about. My brother and I, we grew up playing together and we had a couple of bands before I moved to Ventura. But the circumstances were I met somebody, I moved over here because this is where I needed to be. And he stayed in the Central Valley, which is where we're from. Life circumstances changed for him and he moved over here. So at that point it was like, okay, we got to play together, right? So we put this band together, uh, initially just to go to the International Blues Challenge. You know, and I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you grew up with Patty, but oh. when you guys both get on that stage, it's sort of like you know what each other's going to do. It's like, it's so cool to see the two of you jamming together. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, pa Patty and I, we have, you know, as brothers, as close brothers, there's this thing that happens, and I don't even, I can't quite explain it. There's just this energy between us, and I, I, it's a family thing, it's a, and we've played together since we were 12 years old. I actually played the viola in, in orchestra. I was in the orchestra for nine years as a, as a young man. And that was really cool, but you know what? <laughs> I played guitar, but I didn't really get really into guitar until I got around puberty. And I realized that the viola is one thing, but the guitar is a whole yeah, other yeah. thing. Now, the International Blues Challenge, how do you get involved with that? You have to have, it's not, well, it is a competition. It's definitely so a competition. So what's the first step? You put a band together and you... And you compete locally with one of the uh, blues societies. Each of the blues societies has a competition locally, and they send one band from each of those societies to this competition. We had bands from Israel, from Australia, Japan. It was amazing. We competed two nights in a row. 
and the aggregate scores were high enough for us to move to the next round, which is semifinals. So we got to play at the world famous Rum Boogie Cafe, which is the place in Memphis. Basically, each of the semifinal clubs sends one band to the next level, to okay. the finals. So the band that beat us won the whole thing. Oh. So you came back, you knew you had something special going on, so the next step was to go and record. Right, and so um, we went to Brethren Studio in Ojai, which is an amazing studio. And they walked us through it, and I got Dan Grimm involved, another local amazing talent and uh, good friend. And he sort of helped me understand that process because I had never really been in a real recording studio. Dan helped us through it. The recording came out great. The final product is just amazing. It's turned out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, amazing. I, I, I am really proud of it. So whether whatever happens from this point on, I, I'm good with it. Well, let's go back to the studio. Well, Crooked Eye Tommy was born into this world on a, a rainy night back in 1962. There was laughter down the hallway. The nurse called them fools. She said, someday you'll see what a crooked eye can do When crooked eye Tommy was just uh, six years old He got bit by a dog on the side of the road He had 30 shots in the belly The whole town starting to see what a crooked eye can do. Than you ever seen. It's like a saber tooth tiger with a homecoming queen. You know the power and the glory. When it's all through, the woman gonna see. The whole town gonna see what a crooked eye can do. You know the world gonna see what a crooked eye can do. What a crooked eye.
come on in Make yourself at home The place has been neglected I've been so alone The last woman here I let in my heart Had it condemned after she tore it apart Such as it is, baby Make yourself at home it needs work, maybe not too much. The best home improvement is your love and touch. There hasn't been a fire in years. Your God won't burn it now, and it's dried my tears. Come on in, baby. Make yourself at home Well, it hasn't been on the market till recently It was ported up, the door was locked Baby, now you got the key Open up that door Let your sunlight in Take your coat and may I take your hat Come on in, baby Make yourself at home Tommy watching Ventura Rocks on Caps Media and in the studio today we have Crooked Eye Tommy. Tommy, why don't you go ahead and introduce the band. Great, I love to Pam. Thanks for having us. All right. So on the drums is Kerry Wiseman, fantastic drummer. On the bass guitar, Sam Correa, fantastic, amazing. I don't know how he does it. On the other guitar and vocals, on the left is my brother, Patty Mars. My, that's it. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and that's all we really need to know at this point. You yeah, guys are yeah. sounding amazing. Thank you so much again for being here. In my hand, I have the brand new CD, which is Butterflies and Snakes. So why don't you go ahead and tell me where people can get this? 
Okay, well, it's available on cdbaby.com, which is the preferred place for you to get it, but it's also available on Amazon and Spotify, pretty much everywhere that you would regularly buy your music. You can buy this iTunes. It's available. So Right on. Now, what's coming up for you guys in the near future? Well, um, we booked us some great festivals over the summer, so we're pretty excited about that. Patty and I are going to Memphis in uh, the end of January. Um, we're going to be networking with a bunch of police. It's the International Blues Challenge. Our record was up for uh, Best Self-Produced CD, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, and we've, we've just been getting tons of airplay all over the world, so we're just trying to continue to press that press that angle and try to get more shows out of it. And you're amazing at social media, I have to say. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm pretty busy at it, for sure. <laughs> you for are. Sure. And what is the website? The website is crookedeyetommy.com. Um, we're also on the other social media every, everywhere. Just type in Crooked Eye Tommy and you'll find us. There's right. only one. All right. <laughs> and of course, if you want to find out where the guys are playing around town, you can always go to VenturaRocks.com. That's right. All right. You guys ready to play Walmart? <laughs>
All right, bring it down, boys. This is the important part now. Listen up. Hope 